welcome to Biodoc, nature's way of anti-fouling boats. The principle behind Biodoc is that boats weed up very easily, but the weed also is easily killed. So easy, in fact, that poisonous anti-fouling paints that are harmful to marine life are unnecessary. It is hard to believe that this boat goes out regularly in the summer months, comes back with a little less long weed, but still a lot of slime. The Biodoc creates a microclimate around the hull, and any change in the pH content of the water and the old growth will die off. Fresh water, such as in a downpour of rain, is all that is needed. Killing the weed is one thing, but the biofilm that it forms and the slime still needs to be scrubbed off. But this is also surprisingly easy. The underhull membrane is buoyant, and this floats up and wipes the hull, so that it's kept clean continuously. This photograph of a rudder shows marks where fish have just brazed against the side of it. It's easily cleaned. As a friend of mine once said, all we need is a shoal of well-trained guppies and your boat will be clean. Biodoc doesn't just anti-foul, it protects the whole boat. The top side cover protects against bumps and scratches and also damage from the sun's ultraviolet rays. Now the cover will weed up if left it unattended for any length of time, but it is easily cleaned. The boat used to test the prototype was already fouled up before the bio dock was fitted. Within 48 hours, all the weed had gone and the boat was completely clean. This is the result after three years of continual use. No weed or slime and the prop shaft and propeller were in good condition. Even the anodes still had life. Biodock comes in a bag that can be strapped along the pontoon to house the cover when the boat is away for a long time. If out for a race or a day's sail, then leave the cover concertina at the bow or side. Considering the cover is for a 36 foot boat, it is surprisingly light, in this case weighing only 8 kilos. When using the Biodock the first time, roll it out on a flat surface and attach short lines to the loops provided along the top and back edges so the cover can be attached to the gunnel. Attach temporary long lines to the back panel in order to lower the cover under the keel. Now the underhull membrane is intentionally buoyant so that it floats up and hugs the hull. So it is necessary to weigh it down for installation. Ballast pockets are supplied on the rear panels and in this case pebbles are providing the necessary weight. Here the bow fender is being removed before the cover is lowered into the water. In this case it is easier to lower the stern sections into the water before loosely attaching the bow section to the anchor. Once attached the cover can be recovered when finally positioning it along the hull. Attach the long lines as far down the boat as possible and then slowly pull the cover along the boat so it passes under the keel. Now there are many designs of keel but none cause a problem during the fitting. If the boat is swinging from a mooring then flake the cover starting at the rear panels and then take it to the boat and lay it across the pulpit or bow with the bow panel uppermost. It is sensible to attach the bow panel first cover can then be lowered into the waters, stern panel first and pulled down the length of the boat using the long lines. The ballasted panels allow the cover to pass under the keel and then keep the stern panels taut when finely positioned so that they are held close to the rudder. If the boat has twin rudders then the bio dock will have two sets of ballast bags. Once in position pull up any surplus cloth. Remember, do not pull the cover against the keel or rudders. The cover needs to be a baggy fit in order to float against the hull. Finally position the cover along the boat so that it is just above the tow rail. Any rain is then bound to flow into the membrane below. When removing the cover, untie the short lines 
and added two long lines to lower the rear panels into water. Now it is important to remember that the membrane is intentionally buoyant. So pull the cover back down the boat by pulling on the panels forward of the keel. Most keel shapes will not cause any problems, but if the keel design is particularly aggressive on its back edge, then you can always slide a weight down the cover near the keel. Here a short length of chain that I keep on board to clear fouled anchors has sufficient weight, but as yet has not been necessary to use. With the cover finally in position, all that is needed is a good downpour of rain. And the boat is anti-fouled. Happy sailing.